Hi, welcome back for today's video. In previous videos, you have seen me using my Intense pencils, but I went ahead and also bought the set of 72 Intense blocks. As you can see, it's a big tin that holds two layers of blocks. The first thing I did was of course make a color chart and as you can see, I also wrote down how light fast uh, the colors are. Now, I was looking for a way to make it easier on myself to use the colors I will use more often. And after seeing the Durant Intense Paint travel set, I came up with a solution. I bought a metal case to hold watercolors and when you open it up it has mixing wells and it can hold up to 12 half pans which I bought separately. Now when you look at my watercolor tin you see that it can easily hold 14 half pans and if you even want more in there you can take out this part that is holding the pans and then you can make three rows of seven half pans. So if you want to, you can store up to 21 of them. Now what I did was just filling up my pans with the ink tense blocks. So to cut up your ink tense blocks to fit in the pans, you want to measure the bottom part of your pan. The top part is a bit wider and when you cut up your blocks at that width uh, you can put them in but you won't be able to put them all the way down into the pan. They will stick out a bit and it's not a problem, they still go in the tin, but I prefer them to go in all the way. For my pans I need to cut the block at 1.2 and 2.4 centimeters. And you want to be sure you don't cut off the number, so you always know what color your block has. So I start by marking off where I'll be cutting my block and then I just connect all the marks. I'm not cutting very deep, I'm just softly carving lines all around my block. Don't push too hard on your block or you can make it break. When you have carved all around, all you need to do is break it in between your fingers. If you feel it's too hard, you just give it an extra carving.
Once all your pans are filled, you just pop in your pans and you are ready to go. Of course, I also made a little color chart to put in my tin. The hardest part was to make a choice of which colors I wanted in there. I will be using these blocks mostly for coloring larger parts, so not for coloring in images as I have my intense pencils for that. So I chose colors I'll be using to color backgrounds or texture paste or cambric and so on. But of course I can also go and mix my colors up, for instance a dusky purple at matter brown makes a beautiful old rose color. You can find my first project with these in the link that I left in the description box below or the link at the top right here in the screen.